Once complete in the summer, Poland's wall will be 186 kilometers long, almost half the length of the border line with Belarus. Will it stop almost daily attempts by refugees and migrants to make the illegal crossing? Probably not, according to a Kurdish immigration lawyer who spoke to Al Jazeera, especially if, as is widely alleged, they continue to get help from Belarusian border guards. Actually, I think that the wall is not, is not useful. We know that uh, migrants can find another way. And uh, maybe, as you know, as I told you, that Bolivars and Gardes help them to cross the border. And, of course, they find another place. Ragaz put us in touch with Nizar, a Kurdish refugee who, with his family, including young children, is among hundreds living in a warehouse on the Belarusian side. I asked Nizar if he was aware that Poland is building a wall to keep people like him out. What can we do? We have to wait. We can't go back to our country. We're not part of the political problem between Belarus and Poland. We just want to cross the border and get to safety in the European Union. It's a familiar story told by desperate people fleeing circumstances they can no longer tolerate. There may be among them purely economic migrants as well, but Poland makes little distinction, putting hundreds into asylum detention camps and simply pushing others back. The crisis that flared last autumn is now much reduced. Thousands were allegedly lured to the Belarus border on the false promise of an easy crossing. It was both a cynical attempt by Belarus to destabilize parts of the EU and also a political opportunity for the Polish government. Poland's wall being built at vast expense and partly through forests that are a UNESCO protected World Heritage Site is a pretty extraordinary answer to what is now a fairly minimal problem. Is it worth it to stop small numbers of people trying to cross the border from Belarus? Well, it is if you're a right-wing populist government. State-run TV news bulletins report the broadly popular claim that Poland is doing its bit to protect the external borders of the EU from uncontrolled migration. Public opposition to the government's policies does exist. We just would like to, uh, to let people know that maybe not everyone in Poland is against people coming here from other parts of the world and we are still here for them. But their voices are barely heard. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, in eastern Poland.